Hi, this is Bob from Daily Inventing Truth, and we've got another beautiful sunny day here in Corpus Christi, but that sometimes makes my face look a little bit funny. I'm standing here by one of our local Jewish congregations, the Beth Temple Congregation. I think Temple Bethel. Check that. Oh, Congregation Beth Israel, or the, which means the house of, house of Israel. And I'm standing there because I've got a beautiful picture of a menorah back there. And the menorah is a very important religious symbol. And I began thinking about religious symbols today as I was doing my Bible reading because it, there was actually an issue with the Ark. And the, we all know about the Ark of the Covenant because Indiana Jones actually found it. Well, actually he didn't, but we know the story. Anyway, the Ark was a very important part of Jewish worship, especially in the early days of, of, the, of the Israelites. And Eli was the chief priest at that time, and his two sons were pretty rotten people. And uh, God even sent Eli a warning about it, and then he spoke through Samuel and said, Eli, you're in trouble. And then one day, the, uh, the Israelites went to battle against the Philistines, and they lost. And they said, now we got to do something. What are we going to do? And they said, we'll bring the ark. Because if the ark is there, that means we'll have victory. Well, if you know the story, you'd realize that it didn't give them victory. It was a religious symbol, but they didn't have the meaning behind it because all it was to them was a symbol. Now, was the ark powerful? Oh, yes, it was. Because they took when the Philistines took the ark after they conquered the Israelites, they ended up and giving it back because of all the trouble they had. It, the ark caused problems for their, for their god and broke, basically broke his statue, caused trouble in the cities that they moved it to. And then when it finally went back, was sent back to Israel, the people were blessed. But religious symbols can be very powerful. Religion in itself is powerful. And today, as, as we look, get ready to look at the Bible study for today, there's a reminder of how powerful religion can be but also how it can become a situation where people are uh, so influenced by religion that they forget the truth behind it. And the Pharisees were that way, and Jesus was dealing with the Pharisees. This is when he calls Levi, who was a tax collector, to be his disciples. Now again, I don't know if tax collectors were considered the worst people in ancient Israel, but uh, it's one of the top three along with Gentiles and Samaritans. And they, they, were not, they were not liked at all because they, they uh, collaborated with Rome. And so as collaborators, they were especially hated. And Jesus called Levi. Well, what did Levi do? He had a great big banquet to celebrate this friendship with Jesus. And he invited his friends. Now, who would be friends with a tax collector? Other tax collectors other sinners. Now, sinner, again, it may be a little bit different idea than we think of, because a sinner was anybody who wasn't a Pharisee or maybe a scribe or any part of the religious elite back in those days. And so Jesus, called, when, when Levi called all his friends together, they had a great party, and then the Pharisees came in. They must have been watching Jesus. They must have had somebody assigned to watch Jesus just to give him trouble wherever he taught. And we'll look, we look at a couple of those instances where the Pharisees got upset with Jesus because they were following their religion, their form of religion, and their desire to worship God. But they, didn't, they were not following God. They didn't have a relationship with God. And we find in this, in this passage today, it's in Mark 2, verses 14 through 28. In this passage, Jesus reminds us that the relationship with God is more important than any religion based upon that relationship. So I hope you'll take a chance to look at the Bible study. The, the address is in the comments below this video. And I hope that uh, you'll rem remember that religious symbols may be important, but their power is only found in our relationship with God and in how how we relate to those symbols because of our relationship with God. So, have a great week. Let Jesus Christ rule in your heart and show grace and peace to all people.